Hello and welcome back to the Abundant Living University. I am your host, Glenn Ullman. So glad you're tuning in today. Today's topic covers the category of abundance and a little bit of university in here as well. But it really should be titled, Back to Reality. So um, my parents sent me this great little article from The Week magazine, which is a synopsis of uh, all the different publications, and they bring it into one issue. And there's an article here by Terry Keenan, who used to be on CNBC. She's a journalist, and it's called Falling Out of Love with Stocks. And I'm going to read it to you. It says, America's cult-like fascination with the stock market is finally fading, said Terry Keenan. Keenan, it's about time. Americans pulled... $33 billion out of mutual funds, most of them equity funds, in the first seven months of this year. And by December, we might see the largest annual withdrawal since the 1980s. That's a sign that, after two stock market crashes in less than a decade, America's, her words, obsession with making a quick buck is finally giving way to a new financial sobriety. End quote. Okay. Right, so the U.S. stock market, as measured by the Dow or the S&P, is exactly where it was 10 years ago. That's correct. But what's the alternative exactly? And that's where it is back to reality. Americans don't necessarily have a love affair with the stock market. What they have a love affair with is trying to retire at some point. And as we've discussed in other videos, it takes 32 years to double money at 2.5%, which is essentially where the 10-year U.S. Treasury bond is. What's the alternative? The alternative is never getting to your goals. So there's no love affair. There's no obsession. What Americans and other people in other countries are trying to do is create an income stream by buying great businesses. What's also interesting to me is that she quotes the early 1980s. In the early 1980s, the Dow was at 1,000. It was exactly where it was 12 years prior in 1970. And at that time, Time Magazine wrote a great cover story that said, The Death of Stocks, when the Dow was about to enter an incredible boom time, from 1,000 on the Dow to well over 10,000 on the Dow over those next 20 years. And of course, great productivity growth, as we've talked about through the computer revolution. Now, I know that there are plenty of headwinds over, out there, but I also know that over the last two years, Americans have readjusted. They have shrunk their debt levels. Cash flows for U.S. corporations have improved dramatically. More cash on hand than ever before. So while you and I absolutely have no idea what's going to happen in the future, I can tell you categorically that the only way, the only way for someone to attain financial security is to save more than they spend, have a structure, a plan in place. And the third to remember is that there are two risks. There is the risk of loss of principal, which Terry Keenan highlights. But there's also the great risk of having your principal, but it won't buy anything because it never grew as inflation and prices grew over time. We welcome your comments as always. Please let us know what you think. Hey, anybody out there who remembers um, what things cost in 1982, loaf of bread, gallon of milk, new car, send them along on the blog and we'll use them in future issues. We'll talk to you soon.